Hi everybody, this is Pastor Joshua Sullivan. Welcome back to ATP Ask the Pastor. Today, someone writes in, Dear Pastor, did Martin Luther believe in original sin? I'm only asking because my college professor tried to insist that Martin Luther did not believe in original sin. Thank you and God bless. First of all, excellent question. Whenever we want to know anything about what Luther himself taught, or Lutheranism in general, the place to go first is the Augsburg Confession. That is the confession of the Christian faith. Now, your professor, if you bring this up, will correctly rebut and say, well, Luther didn't write the Augsburg Confession. In fact, uh, one of his co-professors there, a fellow professor at, the, at Wittenberg U, wrote the Augsburg Confession of 1530. Now, however, just because Martin Luther didn't write it, doesn't mean that it's not his confession of faith. In fact, we have correspondence between Luther and Melanchthon uh, before, during, and after the Diet of Augsburg there in 1530. And in that correspondence, Luther is encouraging and exhorting uh, and also then assenting to this doctrine which Melanchthon is presenting uh, with the princes before the emperor. And he's, he's, he's confessing along with Melanchthon that this is most certainly the Christian faith. So what does the Augsburg Confession say? The Augsburg Confession, Article 2. Also they teach that since the fall of Adam, all men begotten according to nature are born with sin, that is, without the fear of God, without trusting God, and with concupiscence, that is, the desire to sin. And that this disease or vice of origin is truly sin, even now condemning and bringing eternal death upon those not born again through baptism and the Holy Ghost. Now, not only is this a very clear confession of original sin, but also there's another little uh, clue in here. It begins, also they teach... The they, who Melanchthon is referring to here, is Lutheran churches and Lutheran ministers in the Lutheran territories. That would have included Luther himself then. So uh, this is a clear indication that Luther believed in and taught original sin in 1530 at the time of Augsburg. Now, we can demonstrate this even further if we go to another work of his, something that he actually wrote, something called The Confession Concerning Christ's Supper. If you want to hunt this down, it's in Luther's works, volume 37, Word and Sacrament 3 here. Volume 37 of Luther's work, page 362. Luther himself writes, For I confess and am able to prove from Scripture that all men have descended from one man, Adam, and from this man, through their birth, they acquire and inherit the fall, guilt, and sin, which the same Adam, through the wickedness of the devil, committed in paradise, and thus all men along with him are born, live, and die altogether in sin, and would necessarily be guilty of eternal death in Je if Jesus Christ had not come to our aid and taken upon himself this guilt and sin as an innocent lamb, paid for it by his suffering and death, and if he did not still intercede and plead for us as a faithful, merciful mediator, savior, and the only high priest and bishop of our souls. So there, two years before the Augsburg Confession is written and confessed before men, then you have Luther very clearly confessing as well, then that he believes in original sin then. Now it's interesting, that entire work then uh, is actually his magnum opus against the sacramentarians, against the Swiss theologians who denied uh, the real bodily presence of Christ in the Lord's Supper. Uh, at the end of that document, in the third part, Luther uh, decides to write a confession of his own personal faith, what he believes, teaches, and confesses based on the Holy Scriptures, because already within his lifetime, uh, many of his writings were being uh, misread and misrepresenta uh, misrepresented. Excuse me. Uh, and so he figured, uh, this is only going to get worse after I die, so I want to write a clear, definitive statement of this is what I believe. And it includes original sin, original guilt, uh, etc. Same thing that we see in the Augsburg Confession, Article 2. Remember, he wrote that two years before the Augsburg Confession. Now, uh, this doctrine is one then that he never relinquished throughout his life either. If we go to 1537, there he wrote in the small called Articles, which is also in the Book of Concord. He wrote in the small called Articles, in the third part, the first article of sin. Very clearly, he writes, Here we must confess, as St. Paul says in Romans 5.11, that sin originated and entered the world from one man, Adam, by whose disobedience all men were made sinners and subject to death and the devil. This is called original or capital sin. The fruits of this sin are afterwards the evil deeds which are forbidden in the Ten Commandments, such as uh, unbelief, false faith, idolatry, to be without the fear of God, arrogance, blindness, to speak briefly, uh, not to know or regard God, secondly, to lie or swear, to abuse God's name, uh, not to pray, not to call upon God, not to regard God's word, to be disobedient to parents, to murder, to be un unchaste, to steal, deceive, etc., 
This hereditary sin is so deep and horrible a corruption of nature that no reason can understand it, but it must be learned and believed from the revelation of scriptures. And then he has several scriptures which talk about original sin. Then, So this is 1537 when he's writing this towards, you know, not at the end of his life, but towards the end of his life as he's writing this then. So this is something uh, that Luther never jettisoned uh, throughout all of his theological maturation and whatnot. Uh, now, We've covered the middle of his career, 1528, 1530 with the Augsburg Confession, 1537, towards the end of his career. We can also take you back to the very beginnings of Luther's career as a reformer, uh, because there we see also Luther teaching and confessing the doctrine of original sin. Uh, sometimes people think that Luther developed uh, a lot of these doctrines, and, and your professor may, if you show him these things uh, from later in Luther's life, think that, well, uh, this was just something, a caveat of his, or something that he developed or grew into. And that's not the case. In a work written in 1521 entitled uh, Defense and Explanation of All Articles, 1521, so just a few years after uh, the Reformation began in 1517, he writes this. What is the cause of the strife of the evil against the good within us? if not our physical birth as children of Adam. This remains even after the good spirit has begun his work in baptism and repentance until it is overcome by the grace of God and the resistance and growth of the spirit and at last strangled by death and driven out. What's Luther saying here? He's saying that even in the baptized, sin remains. Uh, and the reason sin remains is because it is part of human nature. Now, human nature is marred by sin uh, because of our physical birth as children of Adam. If we look just a couple pages later in this volume, he writes, On the other hand, this original sin, born in the flesh, passes away in baptism as guilt, but remains as work, although it is forgiven. Nevertheless, it lives, twists, turns, raves, and assails us until our physical death, and only then is it destroyed. So, first of all, that comes from Luther's works, uh, volume 32, Career of the Reformer II, volume 32, and that's on page 21 and 27, those two references. In this, all of these, we see that Luther's doctrine of original sin is that of the Augsburg Confessions in Article 2 then. How is it remedied? Uh, through baptism. Even after baptism, baptism forgives the guilt of original sin, but we continue to be sinners and we continue to do actual sins because of our original sin. Baptism just forgives the guilt that we inherit from Adam then. And we see this at the beginning of Luther's career, in the middle, and towards the end of this as well then. Uh, so Luther uh, clearly taught original sin and was extremely consistent about his teaching in original sin all throughout his life. Uh, now, here in just this short video, we've covered the spectrum of his entire life, and I think this adequately proves that Luther taught and believed in original sin. Uh, we should also say, just as a caveat, that if Luther's understanding of original sin is maligned or taken away, uh, then his doctrine of faith, then his doctrine of uh, the bondage and freedom of the will uh, and baptism, uh, none of that makes sense because it all uh, is tied into uh, original sin, our inability to save ourselves and our inability to understand the spiritual things of God then. Uh, now, as far as dealing with your professor goes, I think that we ought to try to put the best construction on this and say that he's merely misinformed. Uh, although for a college professor to speak uh, and be this sort of misinformed uh, it doesn't reflect well upon him. Uh, but I think the best construction is that for whatever reason he is misinformed about that. Uh, hopefully not willfully. I would, if I were you, present these evidences to him uh, from Luther's writings and do this in privately, of course, not in public. Uh, but I would do this privately and, of course, in humility since he is your professor. Now, uh, now Luther did I should say, take issue with some of the medieval scholastic theology, uh, the distortions of original sin. But as you can see clearly from all of these passages and more that we could find for you, Luther clearly taught and believed in original sin then. Uh, not only at the beginning of his ministry and career, but in the middle, uh, there when it was confessed by the church uh, in 1530, uh, all the way through the end of his life then. So I hope that helps you in dealing with your professor. Thank you for sending in the question. If any of y'all got questions out there, send them to me, atpholycross at gmail.com, atpholycross at gmail.com, and we'll put them in the queue and we'll answer them as soon as we are able. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Ask the Pastor.